Hi everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in my new video. So in recent uh, discussion on my WhatsApp group, someone asked me that how to calculate the labor cost and the uh, how to calculate the quantity and total construction cost for a building. Now there is a very simple answer for this. There is a two different way to do the estimation of building. So first one is the approximate estimation and the second one is the detail estimation. So approximate estimation is calculate based upon the approximations, right? That's understanding of the uh, rates and total approximations, right? There is a particular formula for this one, but I have made some calculators for all of you, which can provide you the approximate calculator, which I'm going to show you in this video. Stay tune till the end for this video because this video is gonna make something interesting things for all of you okay now along with that the another process is the detail estimation so what does it means detail estimation I'll explain you using my this sheet okay so this sheet will explain you what detail estimation means understand so first thing let's jump into the approximate estimate and in second part of this video, I'll jump into the detail estimate. So let me just take you to my website, which is civilnotes.com. Okay. So you need to come uh, yeah, the all links for the uh, estimation and estimation courses, which I'm going to provide you, which is free of course, and something is going to pay for you to utilize the sheet. So that I'm going to provide you in the description box. You can use that one. So first of all, you need to come to the estimation calculator okay and once you click on the estimation calculator come to the second page it might be th third or fourth page in the future okay so you need to search estimation and costing of building once you just click on this okay this page will open and this page will give you a calculator in this particular way now when we use the calculator we should understand what is the phenomenon to use this one now let's understand we have a revit plan of 8.10 meter by 13.75 meter if we calculate this 8.10 by 13.75 it become 111.375 square meter okay now i'll convert this in the square feet okay so it become 1198.83 so let's copy this figure 1193 and let me put in my calculator over here and just click outside of the box now after that you need to convert you need to add the rate of the materials from the star from the top to bottom so base rate would be here is a uh, I'm considering Basri as a 2000 rupees, binding wire 100 rupees kg, bitumen I don't required, brick blast I'm considering 1000 rupees, brick tiles I'm considering as a uh, 15 rupees, brick I'm considering as a 15 rupees, cement bag I'm considering 550 rupees, similarly for the base course, cement paint I'm considering 200, coarse sand I'm considering 2000 rupees. Hardwood, I am considering 5000 rupees running feet, 500 rupees. Earthwork, I am considering 700. Okay, it might be a different scenario. I am just putting the figures. Your figure might be different. Fine sand, I am considering uh, 3000. Okay, glazing tiles, I am considering three uh, around 1000 rupees. Hardwood shutter, I am considering 5000. Okay, a plywood, I am putting the same. Window shutter, I am putting as a 2000. Okay, iron reel I'm considering 100 rupees. Okay, and after this, you can go down. I'm putting MS steel as a 100 rupees. Okay, and the sand I'm putting as a 3000. Okay, right, and the shuttering cost I'm putting as a 50 rupees now, and white cement. Yeah, I'm putting like that only. So you can see to construct the 1198 uh, single floor. Okay. You will be required the total cost okay will be 27 lakhs now this 27 lakhs is having distribution like this total is 21 lakh 
whereas among this 21 lakh 152000 will be the labor cost if you just change the parameter it will definitely changes if you increase the parameter it will change okay then i have added 10% of the electric fitting 10% for the water supply and 5% for the sewage and after this total one you can add the contractor profit into the total one so you can see you will you can get this one around the 30 lakh rupee okay so this is the approximate estimate procedure that we should follow okay to get an approximate idea for the customer right so this is the first way to understand the approximate estimate or the estimation of the building now when you have a plan just take an example now just understand here that this 4.50 meter is a length of the plinth beam or the main beam so i am consider it as a plinth beam okay so i am coming on the plinth beam section now okay or the um, let's consider the PCC or the let's consider the plaster okay so first let's consider the plaster now you can see guys this is a wall having the 4.50 is the total distance okay now this 4.50 is the total distance for your wall and height we know 3 meter is a height so I am putting the square meter quantity over here right so that we need to calculate so first of all we need to go here okay so four point let me see how, what is the distance 4.50 is a length into height is a three meter into what is the thickness 0 0.012 0 0.012 is a thickness so 0 0.162 okay 0 0.162 is a quantity of my total wall but I guess this is not a correct one. Let me just do in a different way because it's something getting different. <laughs> uh, let me just open my 365. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hold for a minute. Okay. So 4.12. Okay. Multiply by. 3 meter height multiply by 0 0.012 so 0 0.14 or 0 0.15 is a total quantity in square uh, uh, is, is becoming over here so now this is in square meter so 0 0.014 you need to put here okay okay I have just locked it okay no worries forget about this one right now okay so I'm just giving an example now because this is on my uh, uh, online version I can't change this right now to change this one I need to open in my application app and I cannot open that one right now I get, I think okay so uh, let me just continue in the browser as of now so now you can see I'll just explain you what exactly this thing all about so whenever we do the detail estimation so we have we are considering the rate analysis for the plaster okay which is a one square meter quantity where I am using the one is to four meter mix and thickness is 0 0.012 so for this one square meter construction one I will be required 0 0.11 cement bag and 0 0.016 metric cube of the sand for this this is a quantity and this is the labor that I, I do require for the construction now this might change based upon your mix okay so now when we do the detail estimation detail quantity estimation we do require this kind of excels to use this so basically when you start using this you understand how to utilize the functions how to calculate the detail estimation now let's jumping to the one of the beam calculator just example you have a mix of 1 is to 1.5 to 3 okay so and my quantity uh, for the one metric cube will be 1.52 using the dry mix so I do required eight number of cement bag 0.41 number of the metric cube of the sand 0.83 metric cube of the aggregate steel is 238 and binding wire is 23.86 so this is a total quantity I do required and this is a total quantity of the labor I required to calculate the exact construction work right similarly if I just jump into the another sheet such as beam so you can see that for one metric cubes uh, of this construction of beam 
I do required eight cement of the back, eight sim eight number of cement of back, zero point four one cement of the meter cube of the sand, zero point eight three meter cube of the aggregate and steel and binding wire. Now this is totally based upon your mix grade. Okay, what mix grade you are using? Okay, similarly for the slab, if you are using the slab of uh, around a zero point one two thickness, okay, and mix is one is to two is to four, so you will be required. 0.73 cement of back for one meter cube, okay, right, okay, for one meter cube. Like, sorry, for this, uh, 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 let me just check. Okay, the quantity I have mentioned here. I think I have not mentioned the quantity. I I need to check that one. Okay, let's jump into the another one. Okay, tiles. If you just take the example of tiles, so you have one is to two is to four of mix. You required one square meter of the quantity. Tile size is 0.2 by 0.2, so you require 25 number of tiles. Okay, 0.102 cement of back, 0.014 metric cube of sand quantity, 0.07 is metric cube lime quantity, and 0.06 bags. So this is one of the very interesting calculator for all of you. Okay, you can watch my this course. Okay, from start to end, you can understand how to utilize this. Okay, and with the help of this one, you can start putting. You can start calculating the quantity of every single things in very easy way. Such as if you just put the quantity over here, okay. Now I am not able to enter anything over here. I am not sure because it is a password protected. So you can see if you want to, you if you have the length, width, and the thickness and number of footing, you can you will get the total volume of quantity over here. Similarly for the isolated footing, for the column, for the top so uh, uh, top column, okay. If you just if I just come here. For the staircase, for the slab, everything is mentioned over here, right? So I hope you like this video, right? So try to use this detailed estimation and the approximate estimation tool in your uh, daily practices. So to conclude this video, I must say that to calculate the detailed estimation, guys, you do required to perform the work in different way, such as you need to do the quantity calculation first. Then you need to do the rate analysis, and from the rate analysis, you will get the exact cost and exact labor quantity and the material construction cost, right? I I hope you like this video. In upcoming video, I'm gonna definitely use this Excel sheet for all of you, okay? And I'll make sure that you will definitely use for your reg uh, regular practices, right? So have have a nice day. Bye bye.